So you're asking, how does your lymphatic system get dirty? Let me just uh, talk about that real quick. Show you this little tiny poke weed that I just pulled up because it's a weed and it's a pain in the butt. That root, that's the medicinal. Okay, so your lymphatic system goes from the crown of your head all the way down to your feet. Your lymphatic system does not have a pump. You know how your heart pumps blood throughout your entire body? Your lymphatic system doesn't have anything like that. You have to move, and I'm sorry for the weird bone angle. You have to move around like a crazy person. You have to do body movement in order to move stagnant lymph through your body. Now, what does that mean? Lymph is basically the uh, garbage coming out of your body. So if your white blood cells go in and kill a bunch of viruses and bacteria and um, they need to, it needs to come out, like all those dead bodies of, of dead bacteria bodies need to come out of your body, um, it, goes, it gets pushed into your lymphatic system, which then gets pushed slowly out of your body. Um, and there is nothing to pump it out other than your movement. I'm sorry, I'm pulling a weed right now. That's what happens when I do a TikTok video in the garden. Um, anyway, so your body needs to move around. If you move around first thing in the morning, when you get up, like start moving around, uh, just jiggle your body around for a, a few seconds like a crazy person. Don't worry, nobody's paying attention to you first thing in the morning, um, but that's gonna help jumpstart your lymphatic system. You can also jump on a rebounder or um, do any, any kind of workout where your, your body is moving around. Um, however, if you are in a situation where you can't do that for some reason, that's when uh, lymphatic cleansing herbs can really Poke root, um, usually as a tincture or sometimes as a decoction, is a really, really powerful lymphatic cleansing agent with specificity for mammary tissue. So especially if you are a woman um, who has clogged lymph ducts or um, um, cysts or things in your breast tissue, this is going to be a really helpful plant for you. Now they suggest that you take it um, two weeks on and two weeks off. Uh, just to give yourself a, a, a try and um, see if it's gonna do anything bad to you. And that is a small doses. Like when I started taking it, I was taking six drops. Um, I am up to, when I do take it, 10 drops. Um, I'm gonna give myself a break now while I do a parasite cleanse. But um, yeah, you, you wanna start with really small drops and it's what it's gonna do is help your lymphatic tissue. You can also make uh, an infused oil with the root. Um, and you can technically use it as a poultice, I guess, where you're mashing up the root and putting it directly on your breast tissue. Um, but it, the root can actually be like phytotoxic. It, it can cause rashes and things on your skin and you don't want rashes on your boobs. So um, I would definitely recommend doing an oil, an infused oil of some sort. Um, violet leaf is also, or flower, is a, is a great thing to combine with that. So violet and um, poke root would be a great combination for some kind of drainage issue in your breast tissue, okay? Um, but again, the reason you would want to pay attention to lymphatic cleansing herbs is that it'll help give your body a boost, especially if you've been sick for a while, um, if you have any kind of clogged ducts, if you you feel sick, uh, you know how it feels, the, this is swollen right under here, um, whenever you get a cold or flu or something, there are two main lymph ducts there. There are main lymph ducts here. There's some here. There's some in your legs and your crotch area. Um, and you want to push all that towards your heart. You can look on YouTube for lymphatic drainage massage um, or dry brushing or anything like that. Uh, I'm just talking about the, uh, the herb, the, that one particular. And there are other herbs that help with cleansing your lymphatic system that are lighter and not quite as toxic because if you overdose on poke root, you will at the very least barf a lot. It's an emetic. That means it makes you vomit. Um, and at the worst, it can actually mm, you. So you want to be very, very careful. And if you are a beginning herbalist, do not, do not work with poke root. Thank you. Anyway, if you want help learning more or you need a consultation or anything, check all the links in my profile. I'm Amelia. I'm an herbalist and a forager and a farmer.